Cheers, son. Cheers, son. Quiet, isn't it? Yeah. Drunks all tucked up for the night. Super's gone home. Time some cars, I think. Stop it. Yeah, why not? Oh, all right, ladies, calm down, all right? Just calm down. Who's in charge of I am. And if you don't behave yourselves, you'll be in more trouble than you already are. You're throw the book at us, are you? Don't tempt me. School disco night at the Palais, Sarge. What happened to you, Jim? Oh, punch up at a kebab van outside the club. This one was having a barney with the owner. I stepped in and she... Had... No, I didn't. He bumped into me. Sort him out. I'll deal with this lot. Right. Names. You first. Don't tell him, son. Son. What's that then? Sonia? Yeah. Sonia what? Jackson. Sonia. Jackson. And you? Pauline Fowler. Pauline Fowler. Dorothy Branning. Dorothy Branning, yes. Pat Evans. <laughs> Pat Evans. And you? What? Your name? Maureen. Maureen. Maureen Mitchell. But I didn't do nothing. Well, we'll see about that. What are you looking at? Bit old for a school disco, aren't we, girls? Oh, it's late. It's crazy, Sarge. Ah, God help us all. What are you charging us with? I'm not sure yet. I'll have to check the fashion laws. But in the meantime, we'll have to wait for my colleagues to come back, make their report. You can't hold us here. Not without good reason. Oh, I'll think of one. Meanwhile, I've got a nice, cosy waiting room. But first, empty your pockets. Ain't you got nothing bigger? Penthouse is booked. You could share with one of the drunks, but I wouldn't recommend it. Are you allowed to put it all in one cell? It's not a cell, it's a waiting room. No, I can't. Come on, you'll be right. Can't you leave the door open? But don't worry, we'll be out of here in no time. What do you have to hit him for? Because he accused me of being violent. Can you hear yourself? Oh, that's right. Blame me again, why don't you? This is great. What? All the stories I used to hear about you lot. Now I'm in one of them. Easily pleased, didn't you? How long do you think we'll have to stay in here? Uh, not long, babe, but I promise. But he's going to be wondering where I am. Not to mention your father. Oh, blimey. What are the neighbours going to think when we all get out of police cars dressed like this? <laughs> I don't feel bat an eyelid. That's going to go mental. You know how he always likes to make a good impression, you know? Be all ladylike and all that. Excuse me, uh, we're looking for... What's it called again? It doesn't know. Albert Square. Of course it is. Sorry. Um, Albert Square? Three cheers for Her Majesty, who's about to take up formal residence in her new palace. Yeah! I formally declare the new Slater. <laughs> They've only given us the wrong pig in the Why didn't you tell me you were moving? Because I didn't want you to know you plank. Oi, two, get down off me cow. Now, well, I love you. Look, if you don't come down here, I'm going to kill myself. I mean it. I'll jump. Go on, then. See if I care. Bell up, you. Right. Right, I will win if that's what you want. Is that what you want? Kevin, I'm telling you. Why don't you love me? Because you're only just out of short trousers. And you're a pillock. Yeah, but that time I took you out. Now, I told you, sling your rock. And you, shut that window. What are you all gawping at? Nap off and mind your own business. We haven't been that bad, have we? Not really. Huh. It was a good night, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> so that bloke chucked little mum up. Come on down. <laughs> yeah, let's have three times in those little stores. <laughs> I couldn't get rid of him. You should have sent him in my direction. <laughs> Room in the queue, was there? I can't help it if I'm popular. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you shortened your skirt an extra three inches. <laughs> yeah, some of us have got the legs fiddling. Nothing wrong with my legs. You got no meat on them. Well, at least I ain't got knobbly knees. My knees ain't knobbly. Oh, are you two pack it in? Nah. She said my knees are knobbly. Look, just because you're dressed like a schoolgirl, Kathleen, doesn't mean you have to act like one. Oh, get her. Are we allowed a phone call or something? Oh, I could have 
do have a cup of tea, Zams. Mm. Yeah, I'm starving. I didn't get my kebab, did I? What are you doing? We've got right. Here we go. Yes? We want to make a phone call. Who to? The head teacher? We're allowed one phone call. We've been watching the bill, have we? Can we have one or not? One at a time. Did you think you phone Dad? Yeah, probably. A little grass. Oh, I'm going to phone Billy when it's my turn. What are you going to tell him? Well, the truth, of course. We haven't done nothing wrong. No. We know who did, though, don't we? What are you looking at me for? Um, because you're the one that hit the policeman? No, I didn't. We bumped heads. That's all. I've got witnesses. Who? Well, you lot, of course. Oh, you don't think they're going to interrogate us, do you? Bound to. Oh, I'm not good at lying. Yeah, well, I ain't lying for anyone. But don't think of it as lying. Just think of it as just dressing the truth up a little bit. Well, how do you mean? Well, our heads bumped together, yeah? Yeah. Well, Tim, that's what happened. I mean, they don't know that I meant to do it. Cat, you took a run-up. No. I moved towards him, I slipped and fell forwards. And landed on his head? Yeah, exactly. What about the kebab man? What about him? You said some really horrible things to him. He had his thumb in my kebab. Next. Oh, did you speak to Dad? Must have gone to bed. The answer phone's on. Did you leave a message? Told him we'd been arresting her to get himself down here. It's not going to be very happy. Yeah, quick as you like, yeah? Sim's gone casually. Reckons his heater might be broken. We can't leave him in there much longer. Well, we could just keep that Pauline Fowler. You're dribbling. No, it's just she's the only one that's been accused of anything, so... What about kebab bloke? He made a statement? No. He doesn't want to get involved. Finished. Go, There's no need. What? You can go. Yeah, bad time and all. Well, not you. Sorry? You've got to stay till PC Sellers gets back from casualty. Uh, no, we're not leaving her here on our own. Pauline has to stay. Now, there's no point the rest of you sitting here. No, we're family. Eh? She means we're close friends. We like family. Look, she didn't do anything. They just bumped into each other. Yeah, we're all witnesses. Yeah, right. Right, um, either we all go or we all stay. Seat yourselves. That was really sweet. What was? You used to ticking up for me like that. I nearly filled up. <laughs> we can slag you off where your sisters don't mean anyone else can. Too right. And they can't do nothing if we all stick together. I oh, know I said this was fun, but I want to go home. Blimey. You've only done half hour. A little more done four months. What about... If one of us goes to talk to him, you know, nicely, but we could apologise. Tell him we'll come back in the morning. I'll have a word if you want. You? What? Well, you ain't exactly Henry Kissinger, are you? I can be diplomatic when I want to. If you don't shut your big gob, I promise you I'll shut it for you. Oh, yeah, you and whose army? Oh, <laughs> oh that hurt. <laughs> nice one, man. <laughs> One of yours, is he, Mo? He'd have better manners if he was. I thought we were mates. Yeah, we are, but... All right, 20 quid. What, to kill a turkey? No, to kill anyone. Well, you sort the turkey out and I'll cook your dinner. Roast buds. Chestnut stuffing. Chipolatas wrapped up in bacon. Can I leave my sprouts? I won't even put them on your plate. Christmas pudding custard. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice, but I can't see my old lamb. My wife quite going for that, yes. Listen, I must go now, sweetheart, and remember, keep your pecker up. Oh. <sighs> <sighs>
Great minds think alike, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You all right? No, no, I had one of them funny days today. Don't worry, love. Keep your pecker up, eh? Yeah. <laughs>